Hello, welcome to Fanta Tracks TV. Um, just a reminder that we put content up every Wednesday, every Saturday at least, or if something exciting happens between hand, or we'll post that up. So please subscribe, really important. Um, it's going quite well, so let's go there. So today I'm going to talk about the release of the tickets for Star Wars Celebration, uh, Celebration Chicago. Now, there's been a lot of online talk about this, so I just wanted to quickly go through and break down our views of what has happened and how exciting it is, but also just get some facts in there as well and hopefully calm, calm people down. So tickets went on sale on Tuesday, the 5th of June, and it's not really surprising that uh, there was a lot of anticipation this because they announced it just before then, gave the date, so everyone would have been sat on their devices trying to get tickets at the point of, uh, of sale. And the tickets that um, went like within seconds with a VIP, the $800 plus VIP. So let's have a quick look at that first because there's been lots of comments I've seen about, oh, they couldn't have been available or it's all a fraud, etc., etc., etc. So, okay, so let's go back in time a bit. I'm lucky enough, I've been to Essen, Anaheim, um, London, Orlando. Yeah. So, first one was Essen. Essen was announced prior to the Disney takeover, but had lots of content that followed that up. So they announced Rebels, they announced that um, John Williams was coming back to do episode seven, Kathleen Kennedy made her first appearance there. But at that point in time, Star Wars had, wasn't back. It had been announced, but when the tickets went on sale, it wasn't back. I got VIP tickets, I think about a month before, or two months maybe before, um, before the, the con and uh, before celebration. And um, they were easy to get. Um, Essen itself wasn't overly busy. Um, it was really, it was a really good one, um, in the sense of you, it was easy for you to walk around, and see everything. But we, ha we hadn't reached the peaks that we saw. So when Anaheim went on sale, the VIP tickets sold out very, very quickly. Now I was still quite new to all, and I went online at the point of it going on sale, and I picked up a VIP ticket. And it was only after I bought it that I realised how lucky I was because I think they sold out in like five minutes or something like that. Um, I have to say they're a lot of money. They are really worth it if you can get them, but they are super, super limited. I think there's about 200 or something like that, which when you consider the size of uh, what it is, it might even be less. Um, they do give you a VIP experience though, so you don't have to queue for the panels. They had, when I went, they had reserved seating. Now they don't have reserved seating, I don't believe, but you still, it was beautiful. Um, there's a reason why people want these tickets, okay? So it wasn't a surprise when they went on sale that they sold out within seconds. Like, there is no way that everyone who was online to, to get them would have got them. So it isn't a conspiracy, it's just, an element of how lucky you were, what system you went through, how your route went through. Yeah, I'm sure there's tricks and tactics. I've heard people about going straight to show clicks rather than through celebration. But the bottom line is, even that, you're still in the lap of the gods as to whether you'll get them or not. So really not a surprise they sold out. What was a surprise to most is how quickly the five-day passes have sold out. Now, like I say, it's not a surprise that the five-day passes or the full celebration passes have sold out. It is, I think, a surprise to most people, but probably not Readpop, but a surprise to most people how quickly they sold out. So normally, they, in the last couple of celebrations, they, they have sold out the full celebration passes, but it's been a couple of months down the line. So Celebration put an announcement out on Thursday, just two days after tickets went on sale, that... Um, uh, sorry, on the Wednesday, just the day after, that, that I think it was 80% had sold of the five-day passes. And there was lots of comments about, oh, that can't be true, they're just trying to push sales, they're f hiking it. No, it was true. It was true, and I think there's a couple of reasons for this. But the reason we know it was true was because on a Friday, they sold out. So these are the $215 five-day passes. Gets you into all four full days of celebration and the Bounty Hunter preview day. Now, I don't know the figures, I'm not informed, but I have no reason to believe that there are significantly, if any, less full passes than there have been at other celebrations. I think the only thing that would drive it is the preview day, which has got a limited attendance, but even then, uh, with the size of the, co the uh, center and how they're planning it, I'm, and, and also just pure finance, I'd be surprised if 
Reed had limited the amount of full passes. Okay, um, full passes are good for them. They've got a captive audience for five days. You're spending money on those five days, so it's not as simple as the ticket price. Okay, so I, I think, as we've seen with all of the celebrations gone on, it's just getting more and more popular. And with this one, don't forget we didn't have one this year, so there's a bit of a gap. You know, where's my celebration? So people have jumped straight on it. Now, of course, as soon as they pop, start putting announcements out, it does cause an element of panic buying. So um, I don't think there's any surprise at all those tickets have sold out. But to do it in 48 hours, I think we've entered yet another new era of celebration. So the next thing you've got, you can still go for five days. Okay, Five days now means getting a $55 preview pass and four $75 day, uh, $75 day passes plus the taxes to add on. So you're now looking at $355. Again, some people online have been saying, ah, oh, this is all a conspiracy to get people to spend more money on day passes rather than the five day pass. I don't think it's that simple, and I and I don't think um, that would be where this was approached from because again, they can only go on previous data. They wouldn't have been going on um, predicted changes. They might have had a trend analysis in there, but fundamentally, they're not saying let's try and limit this so that we can sell more tickets. I, I'd be very surprised. I'd be very surprised. Um, now, all well and good, you can still get your tickets and you've got to spend more money, but you can still get them. What's interesting here is yesterday, um, Celebration published that the adult Saturday tickets were 80% sold out. So now we're talking about full days. So this is a limited day, this is a full day that is nearly sold out. So I think we are now getting into the danger point here of if you haven't got a ticket, you're not going to get in. So, uh, of course, by announcing 80%, that will cause people quite to go and buy them. So I don't think it'll be long until we see the Saturday sold out. I'd be surprised if almost by the time this video goes out, which is on the Saturday the 9th of June, we might have an announcement to say it's at 90% or it's sold out. So then we're in a position of I can't go for all the days. So I'll be interested to see what effect that has on the other days selling out. Having said that, they have also announced that the Thursday preview days tickets are 60% sold out. Now, there's a slightly different dynamic to this because the preview days has a limited uh, attendance anyway, uh, limited by degrees, I'm sure, and the five-day passes cover it, so there's less to sell. Hello, it's the star of the Force Awakens, Constable Zovio here. Now, the good news for me is being the star of the Force Awakens means I should not need a ticket to get into Star Wars Celebration. Surely anyone who's got as much screen time as me should get in for free. But what will be interesting to me to see how the Friday, uh, Sunday and Monday tickets sell if the Saturdays have gone. Now, the last thing I want to talk about this is the uh, hotel situation. So, again, it was a bit different this time. The ability to reserve the hotels took place an hour after the tickets went on sale, which initially seemed like a good thing because it meant you didn't have the choice of do I go for the hotel, do I go for the ticket? Uh, you know, if you're VIP, you're going to go for the, the ticket every time. However, um, I was lucky enough to get in the queue about a quarter of an hour before the official time of the hotels going on sale, which I thought was interesting. And then watching online, um, it took a long time to get through that queue. People were reporting like 30, 40 minutes. I think I was about 25, 20 minutes, even though I was ahead. So I still didn't get in at the point of going on sale. And um, I think it's fair to say the hotel options were very, very limited. Um, and very quickly after, people could not get full blocks in hotels. Uh, a lot of people were looking at, I think it was the, the Hyatt at uh, the com conference centre that actually has a skywalk to it. That's the place you want to be. And I, I don't know anyone who's managed to get that through off-peak, through the official thing. A couple of things here. So first of all, when they announced Celebration, you could go online and you could independently book the hotels. And I know a lot of people did that. There was a bit of a frenzy to get that. Um, I have to say I managed to get one at the Hyatt that way cost a lot of money but I got one so there's a question of did off peak already have the block booking sorted then um, and of underestimated demand or did they not secure the block booking until after the announcement which of course meant there might be a limited 
amount of hotels. And of course, there's a third option with the ones that people always want, like the Hyatt, the Skyway, is they might actually have the bulk of the hotel re reserved already, and they've just not offered it out yet because they don't know how many people they themselves have got to accommodate as part of celebration with all the guests and that. So it may well be nearer the time we start seeing some of these bigger hotels or the more desirable hotels being released as they have uh, clarity on how many of those rooms they need to hold back for themselves. It is already noticeable that hotels are becoming more available even now. They're, at, they're clearly adding units in. Um, it's not just a one and done job. So if you haven't managed to sort out your hotel, keep on looking in there. Um, they are coming up. And of course, if you've done it independently, keep looking as well because the prices are better. That's a great thing. They, they seem to have honoured the, the price promise, although I haven't seen the Hyatt one at all. Uh, in fact, actually, when I did see it, I say that, I did see it, and it was quoting me more expensive than I had uh, booked it for, and in fact, more than they promised on the site. So there is a glitch. There is a problem there. So please get that sorted. But anyway... If you haven't got a hotel yet, don't give up hope is what I'm saying. Keep looking and, you know, it's part of the, part of the anticipation of the celebration. I've done similar things in all of the American celebrations I've been to. So there you go. In summary, that's uh, how the launch of the tickets has gone in my view. Um, very keen to hear what you guys think, though. Uh, keep it civil. You know, there's a lot of that going around there. Keep it civil. Put it in the comments, though. We look at all the comments that go through. So put it in the comments. Very really interested to hear what your experience has been, what your thoughts are. Uh, might start fueling the, the just debate in future um, future videos, but let us know what you're thinking and uh, subscribe to the channel. There, excellent. And remember, we put new content up every Wednesday and every Saturday. Um, hopefully, you'll get to see Dave's beautiful face soon. Um, he's a bit tied up at the moment, but uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this video and see you next time.